Hey guys, Kilito here. Got another knife coming to you straight out of the EMP Knives Workshop. If you guys need any uh, modifications or interested about ordering one of these Savage models that I have, um, see one of my previous vid videos. You can see uh, a bunch of them that I have coming up here. So hopefully I'm going to start getting those cranked out here real quick. Call or text, email, check out my website. Also on Facebook, Instagram. So what we have here is a 5 inch model Savage. This is an N690. It's got carbon fiber removable scales. Um, it's got a little skull mummy wrap lanyard on it. Um, it's also got the uh, woodland camo, woodland digital camo sheath with a large tech lock. This thing fits in there. Pretty nice. Seems like it. I don't know. Maybe a little too tight, but I don't know. It fits really good. Doesn't seem to be scratching the blade at all, so that's a bonus. Because I hate it when that happens. So, anyways, let's see here. See if we can see that logo on there. Looks pretty cool. Same on this side. So this one here, like I said, N690, it's cryo treated, it's about 5860 Rockwell. Um, I started, I actually got that last blade heat treated at Peter's Heat Treat, so that place was pretty awesome, fast turnaround. I'm going to start using them all the time. They send you a little slip that tells you the Rockwell hardness that it came out at, and they test it, so I am digging that. A little bit more expensive, but it's kind of worth it. Um, unless you send a bunch of blades, so. So anyways, yeah, carbon fiber handles, looks really nice. I like this, this is the, um, this is the first time I've ever used carbon fiber on anything, so. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, it's really easy to work with. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be, for some reason I, I don't know, I thought it would be difficult, but. It actually sands really fast, so it's kind of, it's kind of a luxury compared to working with G10. It's more like wood, kind of. So anyways, you can see here, nice finger groove out of here. This thing just sucks into your hand. Just locks in there solid. Feels awesome. Now you can see that edge. Edge is real nice on this one. Turned out good. Pretty damn sharp. It's not the uh, razorous, razorous sharp. But I think it has partially to do with the uh, with the angle of this blade. It's not the steepest, steepest angle, but it still turned out really good. So, anyways, that turned out pretty cool. Oh, also, if you stuck around long enough to watch this, I got um, this one I've shown before, the green backspacer. I'm gonna be selling this. Works pretty good. It's lock locks up uh, nice and solid, nice and solid. I did forget to put some put some grease in there on that torsion bar for the speed safe, but probably could use a little bit of oil too. And the lock is it's like all the way over, but. It's still solid, so hey, anybody wants this, let me know. I'm going to be selling it, 60 bucks. Um, that's a pretty good deal. So it's acid stone washed. It's a really sharp blade. Like I said, G10. The only thing about this one is it's, it's kind of on the, the thick side. The scales are kind of thick. But... It's a, it's a pretty nice job. I would take it apart and put some grease on that spring, but these are finicky. Like, I think I'd, I'd need new screws if I took it out, if I took it apart again, because they kind of strip out pretty easy, so. So anyways, let me know. 
60 bucks. PM me or email me or text me or something. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.